Welcome to our introduction tutorial. We show you how to mount the test chart and the related subcharts. The first step is the attachment of the poster. For mounting the test chart, a free flat wall is needed. Choose an area which offers enough space to your shooting position. If a surface is found, you can fix it to the area. Try to adjust it very straight. Then pin or glue the poster to the selected surface. The chart should be captured for mat filling. The required distance depends on the focal length of your lens. When using tailor lenses, space problems may occur. In this case, you can pin the test chart to an outer wall. For external tests, use a surface with harmonious light conditions and avoid harsh and angled sunlight. If the interior offers enough space, the walls could be too slim. In this case, mount the poster in portrait format. A door could be a suitable subsurface. Go ahead with the Siemens stars and the slanted edges. The poster contains black spaces for the positions. For easy alignment, the test chart offers grid lines and orientation arrows. You will find these elements on the poster and the subcharts. In correct position, the grey arrow is at the upper left of each star. Take a Siemens star and glue four related velcro strips at the backside of each Siemens star. For one star you need eight pieces of the one side adhesive strips. Press two velcro snap fasteners together and glue them on the backside using the corner areas. Hold the Siemens stars on the sides carefully to an intended position. Make sure that the grey orientation arrow is at the upper left. Arrange the star as straight as possible. For easy adjustment, use the grid lines and first press the upper velcro strips to the poster. If the positioning is correct, stick the star completely to the poster. Mount the remaining four Siemens stars and the slanted edges in the same way.